Okay, so we're going to talk about what we just did and some gaming things, but um, I paid how many points for Sharpened Horn? I never got a chance to use it. <laughs> okay, that's so... We take all the toys away from you. That's, oh. all, that's the whole thing. I am coming from the standpoint of someone who hasn't played a lot of games. I do a lot of painting, but not a lot of playing. This was a lot of fun because Ralph taught me a few things about the tournament gaming scene. Uh, one of those is his gaminess, which we had a few questions <laughs> those on the board. Those the report while before um, this one. <laughs> so, I mean, it's part of the rules. It is. There's it nothing is. wrong with what we did. I, I think it's fair. So whatever comments you're going to make, I'll still buy him a beer. <laughs> um, and this was a lot of fun. So if you guys are like me and not really playing or building or thinking about it, or as Ralph said, watching, I can't say that word, a lot of battle reports, um, you can't say bat rep? No. The this, is like, oh, this is like Owen and Martin, the except for you're like Owen and I'm like Martin. I just sit here and be quiet. You keep talking. <laughs> a lot of bat reps. You think you know the game, but it doesn't matter till you put the little minis on the table and push dice. A lot of fun. Um, yeah. I still would have got my butt handed to me at, at the tournament. Um, there's a lot of great know. players. You, you had, a, you had a, a really good list, and you're very familiar with Lizardmen, and it, you played it well. Steve also watches a lot of battle reports on, uh, on YouTube. We share a lot of the same channels as well. Um, he had a, a good list, but it's, it is when you actually see it and you play with people who don't play frequently and they look at the miniatures on the table and you see how things are twisting and you're thinking, there's no way, this guy is <laughs> this guy is totally screwing me. He's got a line of knights or I can't make this charge because one guy is blocking me. It seems completely ridiculous and if you're new to the game, you'd be thinking, oh my God, this game sucks or this guy's screwing me. He's twisting the rules in his favor. It's not, these rules are in place. So you have to, it's much more like chess than it's ever been. You have to think a, t a turn or two or a round or two ahead. So if I win this combat and I'm gonna reform, I need to be thinking about how I wanna shift my troops and reform so that I can make that next wheel or so when my opponent's turn is, he cannot make the wheel to come in and close the door to me. So there's, it, it's a lot of gaminess, what I would think would be a new player's version of it, but it's not. It's rules as written, everybody plays by the rules, everybody's on the same page, and then everything is good to go. Everybody understands, no one's feeling like they're getting screwed. But you also see how important the movement phase is in points mm -hmm. denial. You may hear that on battle reports, to save the points. I know when we watch the ETC videos, which mm -hmm. we'll never, one, be able to go to Poland or <laughs> yeah. Czechoslovakia, our wives will be like, what? Um, <laughs> but you watch how they do the points denial. Now you see how important that is. In all honesty, I probably would not have won the first game if Ralph didn't say, okay, you're winning the tournament now. Uh, hold your points, move that guy out, take that mm -hmm. quadrant, take that. That's the thing that you, you learn when you play these tournaments. Now, when we were playing for fun, uh, Mark made one simple minor mistake and left his sorcerers out where I could solar pulsar. I still had to roll the dice. Nothing. That sounds naughty. Uh, <laughs> sounds but did you naughty. see her? <laughs> he, Don't tell my wife I solar pulsed her. Yeah, with the, <laughs> with the Bastilladon, no less. Is she saying no? Oh, well, hey, if that's what you guys want to call it. That's I, I use my Bastilladon. Your Bastilladon was at least solar three inches long. In that. <laughs> I rolled a one. You rolled a one. And now I want to get emails that say, if you want to increase the size of your Bastilladon, click here. <laughs> Anyways, fun, fun. Uh, if you guys are watching Battle Reports, put down the computer. Put down the computer. Put down the smartphone. Get your mace to your game store, to your basement, to your garage. True. Who cares? And start moving stuff around. This True. is 1,600 point. Don't we always talk about a 3,000 point, Dora? We do. A 2,000 point. so long. Forget it. I don't know how you guys at tournaments <laughs> do it. My head would hurt. Um, Malorian's games that were... Tremendous as game reports. This mm -hmm. is one of two, two of five, and they play these three thousand point games at a tournament. I goo. This is goo, and it wouldn't last. <laughs> that was fun. But so. this was good. It's sixteen hundred points. We got two games in, mm -hmm. and we talked a lot, and I videotaped a lot, and we looked up rules and stuff. Yeah. But it was still, it was good. It was quick enough, and and on a four by four table, I think, and on a larger table, it would kind of skew things. You probably only plan to playing on four feet of that table anyway. Yeah, or one quadrant. Right. One little two. We could play a two, two by two board. But it was fun, and hopefully you'll see some more in the future. Maybe some close-ups of minis. Um, I know Ralph is more prolific than I, so... Ooh, prolific, but not prophylactic. Catholic, hi, nice to meet you. <laughs> now, and, well, and Steve's birthday was what, a couple days ago? A couple days ago. And mine's in a couple days, so... It's a birthday, birthday treat to you, the YouTube community. <laughs> <laughs> what does that matter? I got I nothing from these people. <laughs> and thank you for watching. Mark, any words? You're a man of the camera. No, you guys are all good. Rock on. Right. Let me stop recording. <laughs> <laughs>